This video is brought to you by LearnCodeOnline.in. Visit our website or download our apps. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. And in this video, I'm super, super excited because we are going to talk about one amazing person who is inspiration to me, to you, to everybody who is watching this video or even not watching this video. This guy has proven that patience, hard work, consistency can beat down anything in this world. Whether you want to learn programming, want to go gym, want to learn guitar, whatever that is, it's possible and can be done by everyone. Let's get started. This question is quite common at this channel. A lot of time, a lot of time people ask me this question. Hey, I am from a support group. I want to join into development thing. Can I do that? I am from a development side of Python. I want to switch into mobile development. Can I do that? A lot of time people also ask me that, hey, I'm from a commerce background. Can I learn programming? Now, I want to say all of you, you need to read this email. This email is a simple and super example of consistency, hard work, and it doesn't really matter what your background is. Anybody and everybody can learn to code. So let me walk you through what this email is and actually let me read this email in front of you. So this email says, Hello Itesh sir, I'm glad to tell you today that I completed my first app. I've been learning since last nine months. I wish I could underline this, last nine months. I am a medical student, but I have a passion for coding. So being a med student, I have a lot of studies to do, leaving me no time for coding. But thanks to you. Thanks for telling me that coders don't quit. Thanks to you that I knew not to be emotional about programming languages. So here I am presenting my first app. It's the version one, a really pathetic one. But as you said, version two comes only after version one. So I'll be learning consistently. It feels good to know that there is someone who can understand my passion for coding. Now this is really an emotional and an amazing email. As an instructor, I, I really don't know how to express my feeling. As an instructor, this is the best gift that possibly anybody can give to me. Nine months of dedication. Can you even imagine nine months? It takes a lot of patience, a lot of consistency, and a lot of hard work to stay on just one thing for nine months. People do complain that, hey, I'm learning web development from last three months. I'm not able to make my website. Can you even imagine this guy has dedicated nine months to create a simple app? Now, I'm not going to release the app on the screen here because I think it would be an insult for this person because nobody can judge his app. Nobody can say this app is good or bad because the amount of work that he has put into this app, that is the most important part. I am pretty sure this guy is going to be an amazing programmer in the future because if somebody can put nine months alongside with the studies, the family problems, which everybody does have, and all these things, just keep aside and focus on coding for nine months. And he has learned Android for nine months and finally, he has sent me an email saying, here is my version one. It's bad, but it's my version one. A few years ago, I did train a construction worker from London and he's working in a computer-based firm who is all about designing website. A couple of years ago, I did train a guy from Thailand who was a cook and he decided that I'm gonna change my life and is now working as an iOS developer. And this year, this is just the start, and a medical student is trying to be transform the things by knowing how Android works. Obviously, he can use his medical skills into the Android app development and he can come up with an amazing app idea which nobody can ever think. Because once you mix your professions of medical, of your computing, maybe your economics, maybe your accounting stuff, what you can create cannot be even created by just programmers because you have an amazing extra skills lying around there. Now, I want you to take a pause. I want you to think for a second how many excuses you are going to make before you are going to make your first app, first website or first project that you really want to make. How many more excuses do you need? I think you are running out of the excuses. So leave all those excuses aside. Sit back onto your computer and show me what you have got as your project one. It can be pathetic, it can be bad, but what you have got is version one. 
Show me what you can do with the power of coding. Let me tell you one thing. Today, just to summarize this, I want to say one thing to you. My dear friend, you are running out of excuses. If this medical guy can do this, I don't know what your excuse is. If you are saying, hey, my attendance is an excuse, that's not gonna work. If you are saying my field is different, obviously that is not gonna work too. So leave down all of that excuses, get back onto computer and write some amazing code. And remember always, coders don't quit and version one is always gonna be pathetic. But regardless of that, that ain't stopping you. So get back onto your computer and write some amazing code. I'll catch you up in the next video.